Michelle Rodriguez talks fast. And Twitter gets furious. Stop stealing white superheroes and make up your own. What's wrong with that? On this edition of the Wake Up Report. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wake Up Report. Michelle Rodriguez, I'm assuming uh, every, one of everybody's favorites as far as the movies. Now, I guess it was uh, rumored that Michelle Rodriguez would be playing or was considered for the next Green Lantern movie, and to which she replied no. But uh, she followed that up with, we need to stop stealing white superheroes, and we need to make up our own superheroes. Now, if you're black, if you're Latino, if you're Asian, Indian, what, what not. You know, you would think the response would be, well, you know something? She's right. We need to make up our own uh, heroes. We need to put as much effort and energy into creating our own characters as uh, Marvel has done with their characters and DC has done with their characters and, and, you know, just any other creation out of that comic book canon. You know, it's white guys who made white characters for white people. So the fact that we are at the mercy or we have put ourselves at the mercy of other people to do for us where now we can be doing for ourselves, who wouldn't celebrate that? You know, well, apparently um, uh, that's not the case because uh, uh, Twitter jumped all over uh, Ms. Rodriguez. Let's hear what she said first. Are you going to be the Green Lantern? <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Really? Yeah, I think it's so stupid for, like, everybody. Because of this whole, like, you know, like, minorities in Hollywood thing. Like, well, it's been all over the internet, But it's though. so stupid. It's like, stop stealing, you know, all the white people's superheroes. Like, make up your own. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up with that? <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Now of the backlash you know and you got to figure you know hey you know she's got to do damage control because she is a public figure and you know you got the fast and furious coming up and we don't want anybody picking it outside of the of the theaters you know michelle rodriguez says we need to get our own superheroes she's right we don't like that you know but you know but anyway um she had to follow it up and she did follow it up with another response and this was the follow-up i guess explaining what she meant the first time Hey guys, I want to clarify about my comment yesterday. I um, <laughs> stuck my foot in my mouth once again, and I said that uh, people should stop trying to steal um, white people's superheroes. And um, <laughs> I guess it got taken out of context because a lot of people got offended or whatever, but like, I have a tendency to like, you know, speak without a filter. Sorry about that. What I really meant was that, you know, ultimately at the end of the day, there's a language and the language that you speak in Hollywood is successful franchise. And, um, and I think that there are many cultures in Hollywood that are not white that can come up with their own mythology. And, um, I mean, we all get it from the same reservoir of life, the fountain of life, it, you know, and it doesn't matter what culture you come from. I'm just saying that instead of trying to turn a, a girl character into a guy or instead of trying to turn a white character into a black character or Latin character, I think that people should stop being lazy and, you know, and, and that people should actually make an effort in Hollywood to develop their own mythology. It's time to stop. Stop trying to, you know, take what's already there and try to fit fit a culture into it. I think that it's time for us to write our own mythology and, and our own story, every culture. So that's what I really meant. And I'm sorry if it came off, you know, rude or stupid. Um, it's not what I meant. So cheers. If you ask me, it was a softer, less harsh uh, explanation but it was the same explanation. I didn't. I really didn't understand what the problem was. I'm like, why is everybody so mad? Because she's telling you that you need to create your own stuff in reference to what she was talking about. So let's read some of them. Al Kwan, Hollywood makes the decisions on the roles in films, not the actors. Not really true. You always have a decision as to what you play and you know what you want to do. These mulattoed Hispanics should be lucky that they are even in the U.S., 
and if it were not for the blacks, they would have no place. What, what, I mean, what the hell are you talking about? What kind of response is that? You know, black, you don't own anything. You don't own anything. You don't control anything. And you're saying they would have no place if it weren't for you. R ridiculous. Moving on. Let's see how Michelle Rodriguez will react if they cast her fictional role in The Fast and Furious with a white girl. Doesn't make any sense. Why would you cast Michelle Rodriguez's character as a white girl when you could just cast a white girl in The Fast and Furious? A person of color as a fictional superhero is the least they could do once again. Black people are notorious for expecting other people to do for them what they should be doing for themselves. Way to dismantle your fan base. Well, she actually didn't dismantle the fan base. She actually empowered the fan base when you uh, think about it. Wonder if Imrod Official has problems with historical characters of color being whitewashed, which happens very often. Well, that's kind of what she's saying. You're not listening. That's the problem. The problem is when you don't create your own stuff. Everybody takes liberty at your stuff. When Moses is portrayed as a white guy, when Jesus is portrayed as a white guy, come on, man. This is, when Hannibal, who hasn't been portrayed as a white guy, but don't think they won't do it if uh, they can get away with it. But even Hannibal, Hannibal was an African warrior and you assign the name Hannibal to Hannibal from uh, uh, George Papar played Hannibal on the A-team to Hannibal Lecter. Of course, uh, she has problems with that. Her statement is indicating there is a problem when you portray characters that aren't you. Okay, I just hope Michelle Rodriguez goes out for a part in the next Michael B. Jordan movie. And he's like Black Johnny Storm says, no, you can go out for parts in movies. That's not the issue. The issue is I'm going to go out for a part in um let's say the abraham lincoln movie and i and i want to play abraham lincoln and they would be like get your black ass to the back of the line okay you can play one of the slaves that uh, he set free but you ain't playing abraham lincoln a gay woman of color in hollywood calling minorities they them as well as lazy okay we see you no you don't see when you don't control what it is you do and you give it to other people that's what they refer to you as they and them those minorities, those lazy people. She's saying, get your lazy brains and gear. Come up with your own stuff for crying out loud. Let's go again. There's also the fact that many of the most popular heroes aren't even human, let alone Caucasian. Where's the problem? The problem is in that statement because it's not true. The most popular superheroes created Captain America, Spider-Man, Batman, the Incredible Hulk, let's say um, the Black Widow, Let's say Wonder Woman. Let's say Superman. Let's say Aquaman. Let's say Hawkman. They are all white, predominantly males. Of course, you're going to have some alien superheroes, but predominantly it is white male controlled. And we should know this. Let's keep going. Come on. Take that. There's no way you can explain that statement. Yes, of course, she can explain the statement. If you were listening, she explained it. She explained it twice, but I'll explain it again just so you get it. What she's saying is we need to stop living vicariously through white people's creations and make up your own creations. If you don't get it, then what that means probably is the fact that black people will now and Latinos and Asians will become on par in the superhero universe just as much as you. For some reason, you have a problem with that. You don't have a problem when you're on top. You just have a problem when everybody else is now jockeying for that position on top. Let's keep going. Isn't she a minority? She must not like to work. You're making her point again, okay? Let's just go with your fact. If she's a minority, that means, oh, if I upset the, if I upset the establishment, I'm not going to work. That means you have no power. You have no control. If you controlled your own stuff, you wouldn't have to worry about that. And by the way, Minorities are actually the majorities. Uh, Alquan, one more time, she is cooned out and gay. What does that statement have to do with anything that she said? But if she said you could hit it, you probably would hit it. So let's move on one more time. And of course, black women love to take the low road when it comes to discussing things about this battle. Your drinking problem with the same veracity you have towards minority superheroes. And my favorite, my absolute favorite, this one comes, and this, and this is show you, when you talk about black people having a place, this one comes from BET. She said, what? 
Michelle Rodriguez says casting diverse superheroes is so stupid. Well, first of all, she didn't say that. She didn't say casting diverse superheroes is so stupid. Diverse means you have many variations of something. What she said was, again, stop living through white people's characters. That's not diverse. Turning Johnny Storm black uh, for the Fantastic Four is not diverse. And, and BET, of all things, BET, which is owned by Viacom, the largest white-owned media corporation probably on the planet gives black people their black stuff. So, I mean, what kind of ridiculous nonsense uh, are people talking when it comes to this? What you should have did was you should have backed this uh, uh, sister up. You should have said, like I said, you know, she's right. You know, we need to focus on us instead of having somebody else focus on us and, and, and demanding that other people focus on us. We are so mired with this segregation, or I'm sorry, integration attitude that we don't deem anything that we do important. That's where the um, issue is. It's what we deem important. And we don't deem what we do important. If white people don't put their stamp on us for whatever reason, we don't think what we can do is important. So I think the responses speak for themselves. You were way off base criticizing her. You should have listened a little bit more and if you'd have listened to what she was saying you'd have understood that what she was doing was she was actually speaking on your behalf she was not speaking against anybody but for a lot of black people i'm not going to speak for uh um latinas because or i keep saying latina latina is female latino is male but the latin culture i'm not going to speak for the latin culture because they have a culture okay you know they have uh telemundo they have, uh, well, I think Telemundo was, uh, was bought by NBC, though. But anyway, they have, Mexico has its own television, its own film, its own TV. Uh, 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 Nigeria and Africa and Ghana and whatever. Okay, black people in the United States don't have nothing. Okay, but you're talking about somebody else who's trying to say something to your benefit. So, hey, as far as I'm concerned, Michelle Rodriguez, your superhero in my eyes. Fast and Furious will be out, and I'm definitely going to check her out in that and hey, whatever she plays in, superhero or not, she's all right with me. This is KTM in the Wake Up Report saying think a little bit. It can do wonders for you.